sit down. Salamat po. House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano and other honorable members of the House of Representatives, Social Welfare and Development Secretary Rolando Joselito Bautista, National Defense Secretary Defend Lorenzana, and the other members of the Cabinet, Senator Bongo, officials and employees of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Just to, before I start, in a way, basahin ko lang naman to. <laughs> this is the run of the mill. Uh, well, it, it uh, contains everything that you need. But, uh, sabi ko, Venet Supply. You know, I was walking on along Anda. Galing ako ng Cicels na yung magandang kainan sa merienda. I met this ko. Your secretary It was quite pale and uh, sickly. May uh, uniform niya, medyo maluwang na. Sabi ko, what happened to you? Sabi niya, as always, sakit niya. Kagaya ng sakit ng lahat ng sundalo. It's always the liver and kidney. Kasi ito sila, umiinom ng tubig na kung saan-saan maabutan. Uh, well, of course, the hygiene, if you cook uh, in the mountain, itong sundalo, hindi naman ito. Walang sinusunod itong hygiene. Eh. Basta mabusog lang. Uh, sabi ko sa kanya, why don't you just uh, go to a doctor or see my doctor? Sa tawagan ko lang na uh, patingin ka lang. Whatever. Uh, ayoko ko pumunta siya, but the next time, kita ko siya, he was a bit uh, healthier and uh, more animated. <laughs> That is how I remember your secretary. Yan sila lahat. Lahat na nakikita mo dito ng military. Dumaan yan sa Mindanao. Kaya kilala ko lahat. At one time or another in the course of their military uh, journey, dumaan yan sila ng Davao kasi rotation talaga yan eh. So almost all of them kilala ko. And that was the reason why na early on, uh, gaya ng ating Secretary of National Defense, he was once uh, assigned uh, in Davao and he brought with him the Second Regiment Battalion of the Scout Rangers. Uh, yung iba sa Marawi, uh, yung iba naman sa trabaho. But almost all of them kilala ko ba Talagang kilala ko. At, uh, you know, before I itong trabaho ninyo, Naawa ako sa inyo. I really pity the DSWD and the military. Alam mo, pag pumutok ang bulkan, DSWD, police, pati military. The first responder. Kung may landslide, police, pati military. DSWD. Kung may tsunami or uh, the one that happened in Leyte, DSWD, military, pati police. 
Kung may sunog, DSWD, military, pati police. Baka hindi ninyo nalaman talaga gaano ka-importante yung trabaho ninyo sa Pilipino. And that is why, well, of course, uh, it's also the invitation of uh, a good friend. Sabi ko, pupunta ako. Um, hindi ko na, ano, na pati foreign affairs, pati social security, nandito pala lahat. <laughs> ano bang, well, anyway, good that uh, you're here. Because uh, I've been talking about the, the human's job of uh, uh, our, our government. Naawa ako sa kanila, they are there. And doon sa taal, which reminds me uh, na alam mo, matagal na yung sundalo ko, pati polis doon. And uh, they have been trying, or they are acting as the bar so that people cannot go back to their uh, lands and places. Because it's dangerous. Alam mo, we can only do so much. Pagka pumilit yung tao and the government enforcement guy uh, bars him and he has to do it physically, alam mo, ang physical contact can sometimes uh, result in a ugly situation. Kasi magpipilit eh. Tapos yung salo, sundalo naman pa di polis, Eh, masapak talaga kung ayaw mag... Then it becomes a, a conflict now. Uh, ang problema nito, it is always the government man who is the guilty culprit. So, ang akin ngayon, kung itong mga taga-taal, I, I am withdrawing my, my police and... Eh, they have been there for so many weeks already. Puno na yung lungs nila ng abo. Kaawa naman. So, kung ayaw talaga sila, I'll, I'll leave it to the mayor and to the police. Yung police talagang na-assigned on. There's a police station there. Uh, there are men. Sila na. I'll leave it to them to enforce the law as mandated by the authorities upstairs that it is, uh, you know, I'm in a istorbo ako sa ganda ng isang babae dito eh. Hindi ko tuloy, hindi ko ano yung I could not establish a trend Ano ba yun? Sabi yun? <laughs> well, you know, uh, we can only do so much. We, beyond that, uh, to physically restrain and uh, maybe uh, the result would not be, it would be an ugly one, eh, ang madimanda talaga niyang polis pati sundalo. Ganun yan eh. That's the sad fact. Yeah, they do not know what the other guy is doing. Uh, he's there to enforce the law or an order coming from his superior, and then he gets into a hot water. Problem is sometimes when there is a case filed, he's left alone to fend for himself. At saka ngayon, by this time yung nauna na doon, I'm sure that they have inhaled about one sack of uh, ash already. Uh, sabihin ko na sa ano, army pati na uh, pa-withdraw na lang. Withdraw na lang ninyo yung army uh, kasi kawawa. Well, they are also human beings and they suffer. And when they suffer, they have also families to worry as just as what the guys are worried there. So, 
ipalabas ko na. Ngayon, kung gusto nila talaga pampilit ng pamunta, di sige. Uh, I, I suggest you even sige, mag-alis na kami kung gusto ninyong tumalon dyan sa cauldron of fire and lava, go ahead para make it short. Yan ang ano ko dyan. Kasi ang trabaho ninyo, pariho ng polis. The first thing that I I, I, I the question that I, when I go down sa sakyanan, o maski anong klase yung sakyan, eh si Rule, pagbaba ko sabi ko, mga tao mo na, hindi ko na. Yeah. Tapos doon sa mga military, ang mga tao mo deployed na. Yes, sir. Okay. Kung pante ka na. Yun ng dalawang yun. Yung ibang services ng gobyerno, hindi masyado. Walang dalang pagkain, makikain pa. <laughs> Sabihin niyo ba kong insulto? Wala. The other, after, maybe, the catastrophe. But during, it's always the DCWD. Pati ang military to keep order. Yan ang hindi niyo alam. Mas importante talaga kayo. That's what I, the, the purpose of uh, veering away from my speech. I just want to let you know that uh, one of the noblest things, really, your job, uh, feeding people and saving lives, regarding the military, but the police, and the country owes you a lot. So, in behalf of the Republic of the Philippines. But let's thank all of you now. Lahat kayo sa service ninyo. <clears throat> now I will read the speech of the lady who made this. <laughs> Siguro yung maganda dyan. Oh. Pinatago niya yung ulo na dyan doon sa sundalo. Psst, lumabas lang isa mo. <laughs> Ah, sabi mo, ginatago niya. Ikaw, China, ay, ay. Today is a most auspicious time to talk about the true meaning of malasakit at pagbabago. As we celebrate the 69th founding anniversary of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. For nearly seven decades, the SWD has been the lead agency of the government in ensuring that Filipinos have equal access to opportunities and are enabled to improve the life of quality in a fair, just, and peaceful manner. Lahat ng dole out ng gobyerno, pantawid, inyo lahat yan eh. So double talaga ang trabaho. And it's not easy. You go to the mountains, Diyan yung mga pagmakita mo yung NPN, yung putang inang sipain ninyo. Sabi kayo ang number uno, tiga ano. The agency's strong commitment in pursuing policies and programs for poverty alleviation, protection of human rights. Ayan, uh, ibigay mo lang yun doon sa mga bayo. And compassion for the most vulnerable and disadvantaged among others, are truly commendable. Since I assumed office in 2016, the DSWD has served over 4 million poor households to the Pantawid Pamilyang Filipino Program, or For Peace, and the sustained Kapik Bisig Laban sa Kahirapan Community-Driven Development program in 1830 municipalities throughout the country. Alam mo sa totoo lang, pag mawala lang itong korupsyon sa gobyerno, wala lang ang problema. I think that uh, maybe kung mahinto ang korupsyon, 
five to ten years, if we catch up the, the standard of uh, maybe not Malaysia, but uh, Indonesia. Sila naman kasi may oil. Alam mo ang nakaproblema dito sa Pilipinas, wala tayong oil. And oil is everything. It runs the country. Hindi binigay sa atin ang Diyos eh. O kung meron man, hindi pa natin na discover. But Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, of oil. So wala sila masyadong problema dyan because uh, almost one half of the total Well, it's about mga for GDP, no? kinakain ng the income, eh, kinakain ng oil. Yun ang problema sa atin. Plus the corruption. If we can do away with corruption, in about 10 years' time, we will really jump. Parang a, a better economic situation. Pero kung may corruption, awala. I do not mean to belabor the point. Ayaw ko kasi baka sabihin ng mga gagong yan na sila lang ang tinatarget ko. But as I have insisted during the campaign, I told you na yung corruption dyan sa uh, customs, BIR, they're just pitans to the corruption being done upstairs in the higher or in the highest echelons of government. Totoo talaga. So yan ang nang, yung masakit sa akin. Ak, nasasaktan talaga ako. Kaya ako nagmumura. Because I know the dimension of how it was done. It is this, it's not merely, it's not merely in the uh, water sector. It's in the LRT and some lands that were leased to them, would you believe it, at 70 pesos per hectare? Yung lupa dyan sa UP. Talagang, if you compute all the corruptions done by those in mga customs, it pales in comparison sa nakaw nito. And yet, they come up with a program well publicized that they have this uh, foundation sending people to states, uh, to the United States, and uh, spending. Pero wala yan pang pang paano lang yan. Kung paano pa, pang, pang salumpas lang yan sa sagot. Ganun, ganun ang mga mayaman. Kaya ako, galit ako sa mayaman. Totoo lang. Mas kinoon pang mayor ako. Magpanong kayo ng tradabo. I never address them. Nabi ko yung kayong mga putang ina. Ganun talaga. Kaya yung mga mayaman doon sa dabo, careful sa akin na well, they, 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 they measured and calibration yung maglapit sila sa akin. Kaya hindi ako masyadong madali kausapin. Eh kung pobre pa. Eh kung taga-bukid ka, I, I could spend an hour talking with you about what ails your family. Pero ito mga mayaman. Noon ko pa yan ako. How are they supposed to pay the Filipino people? You started to collect environment enhan enhancement. That's the term. Tingnan nyo sa billing ninyo. Alam mo ano yan? That is the fee that they are collecting since time. And it was uh, when the contract took effect. Yun yung water treatment. 
So, ilang water treatment fees ang nakolekta nila since then? Kasi hanggang ngayon, wala namang ni isang tarong panlinis. Wala yan. Ang natang masakit dyan, yung corporate income tax nila, pinapasa nila doon sa consumers. Yun ang mga consumers, i-deduct nila expenses, water and, and light and all this. If they are exempted, eh di wala rin makuha ang gobyerno. Nalugi pa. Yan ang mahirap. At marami pa. Marami pa akong talagang... Ako, I do not want to sound vindictive. I am not vindictive. Masampal lang kila, tapos na tayo. Masipa lang kita, tapos na ako. Okay na ako. Pero yung ganun na kulukuhan. As long as corruption does not stop, hindi, adyo. Kaya magbantay kayo sa kung sino yung son of a bitch doon sa itaas. Because it started with Ramos, then it was uh, given an extension even before it expired. Hindi pa mag hindi pa mag expire yung ano lang ito sila distributor lang ng tubig itong mga putang inang ito. Rinig man nila yan kaya may may kamera man sila diyan. Ayun. Makinig kayo ng husto mga tulisan kayo. Mga yawa kay lahat. Talagang galit ako sa inyo eh potak maari lang. Ganunin ko yung muka ninyo sa ano. Pag makita ko, eh, eh, hindi lang ako pumupunta yung mga inestambayan ninyo, mga siangrila, mga ano. Hanggang San Marcelino Beer House lang ako. Mga walang hiya kayo talaga, totoo lang. I don't know what I'll, I'll do with you. I, I have not decided really. I have not decided on anything. Ay, ayahan ko yan. Basta ganito. I have uh, ordered Guevara, the Justice Secretary, to prepare pati si Galida. In, silang dalawa. A draft. Pirmahan nila yan. Eh, kung hindi nila pirmahan, I will suspend all the contracts and I will take over the operation yan sa tubig na distributor. I will let the military operate it and I will file charges for large-scale stopper. Yan ang mangyayari sa kanila. Yan talaga at pagka ganon, huwag lang nila akong ipitin. Ipitin nila ako ng kaso one after the other. I will really, I say it now, and I say it again, makinig kayo. Hindi ako susunod. Kasi ang lumalakad niyan, pera ninyo. Ang gawin ko, paghuhulihin ko na lang kayo. At gusto kong makita ang mga bilyonaryo, pati bilyonaryo sa Pilipinas na sa kulungan. Maski isang buwan lang para makita talaga ninyo. Galit talaga ako ng galit. Sabi ang ginawa ninyo sa akin. Yan ang meron pa, nakalimutan ko na lang kasi mayroon pang so many issues na hindi talaga ako bibigay dyan. Now, ang sinabi ko, the reason why I'm sending it ko dito is, if I do not, including the military, if I do not 
reach the finish line sa term ko. Huwag ninyong bitawan ito. I'm not saying that you go violent. Just a simple nudge to the congressman and to your officer. Putang ina, huwag ninyong biruin ito. Dugo ng Pilipino to. Hira mo, kitaya pa ang magbayad. Tapos yung lahat na. Magkalukuhan na. Huwag ninyong bitawan ito. No, if you do not if you cannot <clears throat> get the justice that uh, the Filipino deserves, then the military, or the police, tell them, kalabitin ninyo. Uy, paki, paki tulong ha. I do not, I do not suggest anything eh, for the town, oh, military. Bahala na silang unong gawin nila. Sabi ninyo, hoy, you are supposed to be the protector of the Constitution. We are being rubbing blind. Please do something about it because that's the money of the people. Ganun lang yan. Sabihin niyo, militari niyo, ano ginagawa niyo? Paano yung pera namin? Patapos paano kung sila pa? Eh kung manalo, tapos i-renegotiate, ganun rin ang mangyari. Since I assumed office in 2016, the DSWD has served over 4 million poor households. Uh, the, in, the agency continues to assist and most, the most needy communities by providing free medicines and medical services, social pension to indigent military citizens, spearheading disaster relief operations feeding malnourished and street children and indigenous peoples and rendering other support services to recovering drug users among others. Ang mapigat nito lahat, I don't know if you can make it, but I hope uh, DSWD can really hack it. Ang problema natin hanggang ngayon is still drugs. Every day, if you look at the crawlers, yung tumatakbo yung sa ano, then there's the main story, whatever. Nandyan yung crawlers, nakikita, tumatakbo. Ayan, araw-araw yan, 10 billion, 6 billion. Tapos itong mga, mga human rights, patay Malaysia lang. Yan, every day may mga tao yan na tinamaan. Alam mo, may uh, kumaman kayo sabihin, alam ninyo pag ang tatay na tumba sa drug, the entire family, the entire poor family of Filipinos, they become dysfunctional. Itong isa, wala nang ba trabaho, babae, magputa na lang. Itong isa, they would go, maghanap kung saan, ang pinagamaan, madali, druga. Papasok ito sa druga. Kasi ito, to sustain his bisyo, maghanap talaga ng biktima yan. At ito, maghanap rin ng biktima para to sustain his drug addiction. Ganun yan ito. Kaya sa isang ano, hindi mo malaman ko. Now, the, the, the social dysfunction created sa pamilya. Ito, wala na. Lulubog na lang yan sa isang kanto sa bahay, maghihintay. Ito, maghanap ng hanap buhay. Baski saan. But usually, the easiest now, yung parang sure fire to earn money, magpunta sa abroad. Alam naman ninyo sa abroad. I'm telling you frankly, I've been there because I tried to save three, three girls from Turil, Davao City, and two from Kidapawan. Nakuha ko lahat yan. 
because King Fahd was at that time, buhay pa. Medyo ano na siya, dementia. Pero may lucid interval, nakatiming lang ako. Nakuha ko. Sinabi talaga sa akin ng parliament member, yung counterpart ko, kausap sabi niya, you know, in the Arab culture, not all Arab culture, but in some Arab culture, rape is part of the territory. Kaya kita mo yung mga Pilipina, magtakbo na lang sa sala papuntang bintana. They simply just throw themselves. So, maalaman mo kung gaano sila kahirap. And the newest victim, battered black and blue with no internal organs. I am not saying that it is not uh, uh, the failure of Alam mo, the fact that uh, an investigation was conducted immediately and uh, hinuli yung dalawang. To me, si Bebot kasi ang ano, ang apurado. Ako, the fact that there was an investigation and there were arrests made and there are pe- people in detention. Para sa akin, okay na sana. But ayaw ko ano nakain itong Ilocano na to. Talagang mainit siya. So, opisina niyan, hindi na ako nakialam. I do not want to rebuke my cabinet members publicly. So, hinayaan ko siya. Sabi ko, let us see what develop. Yan ang totoo dyan. Such an enormous task cannot be done without a sincere heart and mind for public service. I thus commend the thousands of DSWD employees for their unwavering, unwavering dedication to public service. I'd like to tell you a story. The nets of Lepin. Kaming mga anak, tatay ko kasi governor. So, minsan, magkain kami. Alam mo na, bata. Ah, ako, paglaki ko, congressman ako, ako, congressman, mayor. Tapos, ah, ako, gobernador, pareha kay papa. And my father would just stop it. Kindly stop. Pwede, pwede, pwede ba kayo maginto? Do you know what public service is? Do you know how to work in government? Do you know the meaning, the dimension of the work? Sabi ng tatay ko, pag pumasok ka sa public service, you must have the heart for it. At kailangan mong mahalin mo yung kapwa mo tao bago ka magserve. And some of you are from Davao. And you know the public record of my father. Ganon yan. Kaya binara kami. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Bago yan, isipin mo muna kung mayroon ka ba yan. Kasi minsan, magbigla lang yung mag-embrace sa iyo. Mugakos embrace. Puro nana ang katawan niyan. Minsan, mag-ubo yan sa harap mo. Parang sar. Ngayon. Hindi magdating ng Pilipinas yan. Wala. Yung sar. Ang init-init dito. Yung sar hanggan lang doon sa malamig yun. Wala. Wala. Never. Yan umabot dito. So, yan ang, yan ang sinabi na. Kaya ako, conscious ako. Madaling araw, magsigaw sa bahay, Mayor, nakagat ang anak mo ng aso, ayaw na makahintay. Gusto dyan na. Tapos may madisgrasya. Yung wholesale na disgrasya, 
isang jeep. Uh, isang jeep rin yan, magpunta sa bahay, maghingi ng... And in the middle of the night, you have to walk, uh, to wake up. And... Trabaho uh, ka. Yan ang public service talaga. And without the rancor that goes with it. Yung gising ka na, hindi ka mamutang ina kasi trabaho mo. Such an enormous task cannot be done without a sincere heart and mind for public service. I thus commend the thousands of BWD employees for their tapos ko nito, unwavering dedication to serve the public. I am confident that you will remain committed, patient, and compassionate as you perform your vital role in uplifting the lives of millions of Filipinos. On this note, I am pleased to mark today's event with the opening of the Malasakit building that will serve as the offices of the 350 to 500 personnel of the DSW, this operation group. As we improve your agency's capacity to serve our people, and as we honor today exemplary DSWD personnel and centers for their outstanding work in helping achieve the agency's mandate, I enjoin each one of you to rekindle your commitment to our shared nation building. Your passion, you must have the passion for public service along with your strong adherence to integrity, transparency, and accountability. Inspire many Filipinos to follow in your example and serve the nation with the same fervor. I know that this cannot happen. And this will not happen under the leadership of General Rolando Bautista. Pero itong minsang yung bang mga medisina yung nasa mawala purchases uh, wala dyan. And I remember the Chief of the um, sa hospital ng military, AFP, you know. when Dominguez uh, sent me the note, katabi ko ang uh, Department of Finance sa cabinet, nung pinasa niya, so, uh, right there and then, I ordered the Terminate. Sabi ko, wala talaga akong santuhin dito. Basta corruption. Basta corruption. Tsaka yung ano, bantayan ninyo yung, yung from one desk to another. If there is a discretion or a person is allowed to decide that this, uh, how these papers would, would pass on to the next table. Pag inintuan nila yan, pag inupuan nila yan, pag pumunta sa akin yan, tao na yan, at mag-complain. Sorry, I will call you sa opisina ko mismo. At ilagay ko yung pangalan mo doon sa 888. There is a charge against you for corruption. But, ipalagay ko tala. At, Tawagin kita sa opisina ko. Doon tayo sa opisina ko mag-usap. Only by looking after the welfare of each other can we make a great nation. This is the essence of the malasakit at pagbabago. I am humbled and inspired to see these values burning in your hearts. Keep this, fl keep this aflame with your genuine love for country and people. Kaawa naman kasi yung mga tao. Yung mga mayaman, kita mo yung mga mayaman, yung pa sila ang magnakaw. 
Hindi nila kailangan tayo. They do not need us. They really do not need us. Yung mga maya, yung mga pobre, wala yan. Kailangan nila tayo. Ang mga mayaman, ah, bullshit, yung mga yawa, wala yan. O ba, ba si anong administrasyon, nakadikit yan. And always, yung corruption. Yung corruption, nasa taas palagi yan. Kung anong bulto yan, tag isang barko, tag isang... Kaya, tayong maiwan na Pilipino, guard against it. And complain. Pagka may nalaman kayo, baski hindi dito sa ano ninyo, complain mo. Sigaw mo. Para ma... Ako sabi ko nga, pag ikaw, you know, the one thing that is na, uh, at least a, 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 an equality that is not uh, universally dito sa Pilipinas, kasi ang mga tao parang hindi assertive. Pag pinabang, pinaparinggan lang ganon, magtingin na lang, no? sige, bigay na lang. They do not assert. I really do not know what's happening to our people. But unless you assert your right as a Filipino and can really afford to do the things that... Ako, ang sabi ko, pag hinian kayo ng pera, if you're ask money for something and it's a monetary thing and he will say that he will attack on it without giving... Uh, without receiving the money, rather. I am urging you to make a noise. Make a scene. Sampalin mo, sipain mo. Magkagulo yan. Pag magkagulo yan, it will reach my ear. Kasi may nagkagulo doon sa Department of Health. Doon. Magtatanong ako kung bakit. And I will intervene. At ako na ang papatay sa putang ina niya. Ihulo ko lang yan sa agdanan. Ganun tala. You have to be assertive. We have to tell the Filipinos to be assertive. Yan ang wala sa atin. That is why. Learn to be assertive and I'll back you up. Really, I will to the hill. Ako ang mag-backup sa inyo. Lalo na sa magagandang babae. Iba siya ako makatingin. Pasaibyo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Mr. President. Dali lang ha, kinaginom ang tubig. At this juncture, may we request the President for a photo opportunity in five batches. The first batch, Exacom officials. The second batch, our regional directors, please prepare. Second batch, our regional directors, please prepare.
Thank you, our Execom officials. Please exit to your right. Batch 3, please prepare our four-piece beneficiaries. Thank you very much to our regional directors. Please exit to your right. Batch 4, our Mancom officials, please prepare. Fourth batch, our Mancom officials. Thank you very much to our four piece beneficiaries. Please exit to your right. Fifth batch, please prepare the anniversary committee.
Thank you very much, Mancom officials. Please exit to your right. The fifth batch, the DSWD Anniversary Committee. Thank you very much, Anniversary Committee. Please exit to your right. That concludes our work event this evening. Thank you very much. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte for gracing this momentous event. We are very honored with your presence. Again, ladies and gentlemen, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Republic of the Philippines. May we request everyone to remain seated until after the President has left the program venue. Carl, I'm going to go.